Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In this step, we're going to put on the embossed wrap on the transition section that we had created earlier. From your box of parts, locate the, the sheet that has the raised panels on it. This is the embossed wrap. And we're going to cut this out using a hobby knife and a ruler. And for the, sh uh, and for the straight edges, put the ruler on top of the paper, on top of the part, um, so that if your knife strays away, it doesn't go into the part itself. And for the curved edges, we're going to just do it freehand, but be very careful, work very slow so that you don't gouge into the paper. Once the transition has been cut out, we're going to carefully pre-roll it like we did with the other transition. Okay, and then we're going to spray it lightly with the spray mount adhesive. Um, and you want to be very light with this. Actually, before we do that, uh, we want to test fit it on the transition itself. So wrap it around the tube and there's this line here. Um, don't use the seam that where the edges came together because it's kind of might be puckered there. So we want to use this nice, nice straight edge and kind of align the back edge with the transition there. That will kind of give you a guide to get it started. You just want it to wrap around kind of tight uh, where the edges just come together and if it's too uh, loose, slide it towards the rear and if it's too tight, slide it towards the front. Mine is a little bit tight, so I'm going to slide it just, I mean mine was a little loose, so I'm going to slide it just towards the rear. See now that edge right there is just coming together. And when you get it where you want it, take your pencil and we're going to mark this front edge right here. And the reason is we're going to spray with the spray mount and when we go to align it, this will help us to know where that front edge should be. And you can see that it hangs up onto the tube just a little bit. So you should do this outdoors. I'm going to do it indoors because I'm going to be quick about it. You want to just go very light. And let it dry for a few seconds. And then we're going to take this. And we're going to line it up with the front edge like we did in our line on the tube. And we're going to slowly wrap it around, pulling it tight. And hopefully we get it to a line, and if it doesn't, unwrap it again, reposition, and wrap it around again. And I'm still off. Better.
And now I got it to where I want it. And then we're going to take our water thin super glue again and our safety goggles. And we're going to glue down this front edge. And I want to start here right at the seam. And I'm going to use a, a knife to kind of hold it down um, so that my skin is not touching the part. I don't want to glue my fingers there. Now we're not going to coat this with the super glue like we did on the transition underneath because we can't sand this one because we don't want to lose that nice raised edge there. So I'm just using the knife to hold down the edges till it grabs and then I can go around the entire perimeter. Okay, and then I want to do the seam before I do the back edge because if, if we do the back edge first it could cause this seam to pucker so I want to do the seam first. Again, I want to use the knife to hold it down, press it down till it grabs. I'm going to put my fingers on there because I don't want them sticking. Once you get the middle seam done, we're going to now do the back edge. Again, as before, just let it wick underneath. on the surface. Now if you notice any raised areas where it's not sticking down because it's not perfectly cylindrical um, we're going to switch to some thick super glue and we'll go under, we'll work that into that edge. So at least the edge is all the way down. And if any's on the top surface, wipe it off. Okay, so that's done and we'll set that aside. You can lightly sand that edge right there to smooth it out as much as you can. Right now I am really happy with that. It's pretty rigid um, and it looks really good and once it's painted it's going to look even better.